Well, good morning, and welcome to Versatech Building Products Facebook page for this 2021 Versatech Excellence Awards presentation. Well, again, everybody, this is Rick Capers, Vice President of Sales and Marketing for Versatech Building Products. And things are a little bit different this year, folks. Normally, you would be seeing me as I would be coming to you live from the second floor of our manufacturing facility in Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, in our training room. But uh, unfortunately, or I would say fortunately, I am here, but I am not there. Uh, many of you know what I want to take a minute here at the top to update you kind of on my condition. Uh, I am not in the plant right now, but instead coming to you uh, live from my couch uh, <laughs> outside of Pittsburgh, which I got to tell you, I'm very happy to be here. Um, as, as many of you know, some don't, uh, over the last uh, six weeks, uh, I've had quite a COVID battle. Um, diagnosed at the beginning of, uh, of November, and uh, after about a week of what many of you guys have had with some flu-like symptoms, uh, it wound up into my lungs in COVID pneumonia, and uh, I spent 25 days in the hospital. Um, here's, a, here's a picture for you from Saturday when I was released. So, folks, that's where I'm at right now, um, at home. Uh, super happy to be home. Got out of the hospital Saturday morning, and um, I'm still on low-level oxygen, so I'm restricted from travel, and um, I should be on this the next week to a couple of weeks, but I'm getting better daily. But let me uh, say this. I, I want to, from the bottom of my heart, thank everybody within the organization and outside the organization, because many customers were reaching out for all of your support and most importantly, all of your prayers uh, during that time, um, you know, uh, your prayers were heard, certainly. Uh, God listened and, uh, and got me out of there. Um, I was never put on a ventilator. Uh, I was on maximum oxygen for a period of time there. So uh, there was a period where maybe it was touch and go. And I think the prayers helped. Uh, I turned the corner. My lungs slowly started to improve. Um, and I was able to get out of the hospital Saturday. And as I said, I'm well, well on my way to back to getting where my lungs will be 100%. Um, and hopefully in January, mid-January, um, I'll be back out uh, where I can travel again. Uh, I certainly want to get to the International Builder Show in February down in Florida uh, and see many of you there. So once again, thank you to everybody within Versatech, all the customers and all the people that reached out with their support and, and most importantly, their prayers. Uh, God is good. He listened. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart. So thank you again. All right. Now let's get back to uh, the people that I want to uh, acknowledge here today uh, that the organization actually wants to acknowledge. I'm just the person that uh, gets the honor of, uh, of handing out the awards. And what we call these are Versa Excellence Awards. As you guys well know, we, we, we do a lot of plays on Versatex, uh, Versatextural, Versatexpert. Uh, this is one of my favorites, Versatexulence. And uh, this goes to the people um, and the customers that in 2021 had the greatest impact on our organization. And we, uh, we want to take a moment today to acknowledge them. Folks, we've been doing this, if you look at this slide, for 17 years. I can't even believe it's been that long. When you look at some of the past winners, man, it's a who's who when, when you look at both uh, retail lumber yards and wholesale distributors, uh, fabricators, builders, some of the best of the best have won this and, uh, and continue to win these awards every year. I'm always blown away at the customer base that we have, um, how loyal they are to Versatech, how we've become such close friends uh, with these people over the years. Uh, and I'm honored to be able to, to have this opportunity to acknowledge a few more winners uh, this morning. When you look at the categories, the first three that I'm going to hand out this morning uh, are internal, um, and these are through the sales organization. Uh, we honor our regional sales manager of the year, uh, an area sales manager, and a market development specialist. 
these are really three levels of sales representatives we have out in the field. And as I go through the finalists, I'll kind of tell you what each each, uh, each uh, role does and, and how it impacts the marketplace, both for uh, Versatech and the customer base. Then we'll get into the, uh, the customers. We're going to honor a distributor, uh, a fabricator, a distributor sales rep, a builder, and finally, maybe the most important role, our stocking dealers. So we'll go through all these and um, hand out the Versatech Excellence Awards for 2021. So first up, internal category, the Versatech Regional Slash Territory Sales Manager. Um, regional Manager, Territory Sales Manager, similar roles. Regional is a little bit uh, uh, step up in terms of they typically have a bigger territory and, and a few more distributors and are a little bit more seasoned. But we kind of lumped this together because both roles, whether it's an RSM or a TSM, is responsible for the channel. So they're uh, the ones that are closest to the distribution, the wholesale distribution, helps develop those folks, train them, um, put together sales plans marketing initiatives, and, and go out there and work with the top-end dealers to create stocking dealers and ultimately grow the territory. Um, so uh, it is a vital role in the organization, and um, we, uh, we take this very seriously. So we have seven or eight, I think, now um, regions. Uh, we have about a dozen when you add them all up, RSMs and TSMs. We pick three finalists. Mark Edmondson, uh, who is in the East for us, uh, and the East is New Jersey and Eastern Pennsylvania. The Southeast, Rich Mauer, and that is North and South Carolina, Tennessee, uh, Northern Alabama, and Georgia. And Matt Cullen in the Mid Atlantic. Matt has Maryland, Northern, uh, well, actually all of Virginia, and Delaware. Those are our three finalists for RSM TSM of the year. And if you flip to the next slide, the Versatech Excellence winner is Matt Cullen. We love Matt Cullen. I got to tell you, Matt is one of our uh, studs in this role. He's a complete pro. He's been doing it uh, now for over 10 years. I think coming up on 10 is an RSM. Um, he was a guy that we brought in at the lowest level as an MDS, was promoted all the way up to RSM, and he's been kicking butt for quite a while now. This is the second time Matt has won this award. He won it back in 2016. This year, Matt grew his territory over 35%. He clipped his budget by 21% or over, over $2.5 million. The territory is humming along. He's got unbelievable relationships up and down the channel. Uh, and he's managing a terrific team uh, with three uh, guys underneath him, uh, TVG, uh, the Turtle, Billy O'Hara, and, uh, and Aaron Kramer, uh, all of which are really blossoming under Matt's direction. So congratulations, Matt Cullen, on your second win as uh, RSM Versatech Excellence Award winner. Way to go, Matt. All right, moving forward. Let's take a look at our area sales manager finalists. The area sales manager is a kind of a, um, a quasi position between pull through selling and channel management. So it's a, it's a demanding role. Uh, typically these folks uh, started in just pull through and then got promoted to ASM where they have now more channel involvement, particularly at the dealer level. Um, and these guys are a little bit more seasoned uh, and, um, and getting it done both uh, up and down the channel in terms of builder development and dealer development. So we have three finalists for our area sales manager, and they are Jay Morrow. Jay Morrow, Jay Morrow, we love you, Jay Morrow. I just can't help myself. I, I, think, I, just, I think I just saw Annie, so I wanted to throw that out there. So Jay Morrow uh, handles West Central Florida, a place that is near and dear to me because uh, I got a place down there outside of Clearwater. 
So as I travel around, I see Jay's work everywhere, um, up and down the Gulf Coast. Also a finalist, Ricky Ricardo, Ricardo Torres, um, and he is rocking the Cape up there in, uh, in Massachusetts, uh, Western Massachusetts, does an unbelievable job for us. And then Craig uh, Hutnuts Dawson up there, my Canadian brother uh, up in uh, Ontario, lives outside of Toronto, covers all of Ontario and Western uh, or Eastern uh, Quebec for us. Um, been doing it uh, at a high level for quite a while now. So those are your three finalists, uh, Jay, Ricardo, and Craig. Can only be one winner, and in 2021, the Versat Excellence winner is Ricky Ricardo. Ricardo Torres, um, absolutely a spectacular year uh, in a challenging marketplace uh, out there in the Cape, which is highly competitive, uh, and he faces kind of an uphill battle because there's a lot of dealers out there that stock competitive products, but uh, Ricardo has done an unbelievable job guiding folks to Versatech. Um, he grew the territory 27% last year, um, and he led us in wins. We have a metric that we judge the ASMs and the MBSs on. It's called calls and wins. You're asked to make three calls every week at a minimum. And this is important for our dealer friends because this is the kind of pull-through selling you're getting from the Versatech team. Three calls per week at a minimum. And a call is a new opportunity. So these folks need to get in front of new builders, new architects, or new contractors. And I say new, new to us. Some that they've not met before that haven't had a Versatech presentation and get into a dialogue with them. That's not easy to do. Ricardo did it 267 times in 2021. He had 267 new opportunities that he presented out there. Out of that, 53 wins. He led the company in wins. And a win is what you would think it would be. A, a, someone that buys Versatech for the very first time. So this is a builder, architect, contractor that has either bought or spec Versatech for the very first time. He posted 53 such wins worth over $300,000. And many of these wins turn into repeat customers. So that's the lifeblood of what we're trying to do out there and pull through so. So congratulations, Ricardo, ASM winner, Versit Excellence 2021. All right, moving now to the third level of sales uh, and maybe the most important level. This is the market development specialist. We've got a bunch of these guys all over the marketplace, downstream selling. They do not get involved in the channel. They spend 95% of their time at builder, contractor, architect. These are your pull-through guys. Versatech years ago has made an investment in pull-through selling that we are highly committed to. It really, really matters, and it drives the dollars through the stocking dealers. Now, I say to our guys all the time, when that dealer puts his money, his hard-earned money, in the inventory of Versatech product, our job is to get it moving. And that's what these folks do better than anybody. The MDS, the Market Development Specialist. So this year we had three finalists out of the massive group that does this. Tyler Freeman, Ty Webb, as he's known. He's also kicking butt in fantasy football, by the way, this year. But Ty Webb, Tyler Freeman, he handles eastern Pennsylvania outside of the Philly area. Um, does a tremendous job. Wimpy, as he's affectionately known, uh, for his propensity to knock down giant hamburgers. You might remember the Wimpy guy if you're older. Uh, but uh, Jeff Postra, down there along the Jersey Shore, he is uh, tearing it up with a vengeance. And then Cosmo Kramer, Aaron Kramer, who works the um, D.C., Maryland area, uh, Baltimore, Northern Virginia, does a tremendous job for us down there. So those are our three finalists. Probably could have put a, several more on this list because we had a ton of great work done by the MDS team in 2021. Um, you know, I think all in, uh, they were uh, north of, I want to say, seven, 
$6 million in creating new business. So absolutely spectacular by that entire group. But there's only one winner, and the Versus Excellence winner for 2021 MDS is Cosmo Kramer. Little guy, but with a huge heart and a lot of ability. Um, Aaron has been doing it now since February of 2019 for us, or, or, or check that, 2018 uh, in this role. And because of this, and I want to mention actually Tyler and Jeff and Aaron have all been promoted. So they were in the MBS role last year uh, because they've done such a great job over uh, a, a few years. All three were promoted to MBS. But in his last year, as, or, or to ASM rather, but in his last year as MDS, Cosmo got it done in a big way. Um, he had close to uh, 175 wins, or a call, 32 wins worth $200,000. He grew canvas sales, which is something that is uh, our, our value-added, you know, soffit slash accent wall product with the laminates. Uh, he grew that over 120%. He helped TW Perry, which is his main dealer in that area, uh, to, to exceptional growth. Uh, of over 40%, nailed 90% of his bonuses, won four Salesman of the Month awards, uh, just did everything we could ask. A true pro. Congratulations there, Aaron. Uh, you are our 2021 Versa Excellence winner for MDS. All right, now let's move outside the organization. Uh, the next, the rest of the categories, we take the opportunity to thank our customers. And again, this is so difficult because we have so many candidates in every one of these categories. It gets increasingly difficult. And I always feel like we're going to slight people. So if you didn't make the finalists, man, it doesn't mean we don't love you. And it doesn't mean you, you haven't had a tremendous year with us. Um, but the competition is stiff and we got to pick three finalists and then ultimately one winner, which is always so challenging. But for our distributor of the year, you know, we have over 40 uh, distribution uh, sites across North America when you consider the U.S. and Canada. Uh, and we have some of the best distribution, two-step wholesale distribution of any manufacturer in the industry. I mean, this group uh, truly goes out and gets it done for us. I'm so proud of what we have in terms of distribution, what has been developed by our RSMs and, and the loyalty that these folks show to Versatech and how they grow our brand and the business every year. So our three finalists this year um, are Atlantic Forest Products uh, from Baltimore, uh, handle all of Virginia for us, uh, all of Maryland and Delaware, uh, and been doing it now for a long time. Dixie Plywood, I, I'm sure you know the name. They're, they're a Versatech distributor all over the Southeast. Um, in Texas, uh, and um, the Tampa branch uh, run down there. Uh, you know, the Baltimore branch of Atlantic, I want to mention Chris McCarthy. He runs the show down there. Um, in, Atlanta, uh, in Tampa, Dixie's run by Autumn Brown uh, and, um, and Raleigh Mowry. Uh, Raleigh Mowry um, really do a great job down there uh, uh, leading uh, that that Dixie location. Heck, we could have named a bunch of Dixie locations because they're all fantastic, but the Tampa branch stood, stood out to us this year in terms of their growth. Uh, U.S. Lumber uh, in Altoona, Pennsylvania. That's Joe Campbell and team down there, uh, and they do an awesome job for us all over Pennsylvania, really, uh, really from the, uh, the edge of Ohio all the way back through Amish country. And then Amherart. Uh, really one of the power distributors in the upper Midwest. Uh, we want to acknowledge, uh, you know, Rick Jolly and his team up there in Williamsburg, Michigan, which is uh, outside of Traverse City. So four very, very deserving candidates for distributor of the year. And again, can only have one winner. And in 2021, the first of excellence award for distribution goes to Atlantic Forest Products out of Baltimore, Maryland. Uh, this is uh, always an honor, and um, I love these guys. They've been a loyal, loyal, and hardworking distributor for us since 2008. This is the second time they've won the award 
They picked it up back in 2015. Um, they had an unbelievable year, uh, year-over-year growth of 34%, uh, and they are a behemoth. Uh, it amazes me uh, how well they service their marketplace with really so few direct shipments. I think a lot of our distributors, you know, have the benefit of dealers buying a lot of direct trucks. Um, this group doesn't. They do 90% of what they do or better out of warehouse. So that really adds an added burden on these guys, and uh, they do it better than anybody. So, you know, their key accounts, obviously, I'm sure they'd want to thank, you know, T.W. Perry, uh, which is now part of the BFS family. Um, they do, uh, you know, they are our flagship dealer in, uh, in, the, in the D.C., Baltimore area. Wyoming Millwork, Friel Lumber, uh, and, and various 84 lumber locations. Um, Chris McCarthy, executive vice president, runs the show down there, along with his two sales studs, uh, Matt Hubbard and Scott Bartley. Uh, we want to thank those guys and the entire team at Atlantic Forest Products. An honor uh, well earned. You are 2021 Distributor of the Year. Congratulations. Now, moving on to Fabricator of the Year. Yeah, what is a fabricator, Rick? Well, you know, fabricator in our world, an OEM, original equipment manufacturer. Fabricators, when it comes to Versatech, they'll make anything from louvers to flower boxes to garage doors to railing systems, decorative gingerbread. Um, heck, we got people making chairs out at around that chairs. We got people making cornhole boards. I mean, uh, just a, a million different things. And that's the beauty of Versatech. The workability of the product lends itself to all of this type of stuff. And it, it, never, it never ceases to amaze me to see what these fabricators come up with next. But uh, I want to look at three uh, this year that, that made the finals. Uh, and again, I'm always going to be sliding people. Um, you know, last year, Intex Millwork Solutions won this award. Uh, you know, guys like that could win it every year. Uh, and so, you know, I want to thank Joe Huma Sullen team down there. And there's a million of them that do such an incredible job for us. But we picked three finalists this year and, you know, a little bit unique. Uh, these three folks do something a little bit different. First one is Klingerman Doors. And when you see the name Doors, you might have guessed, they make garage doors out of it. Carriage-style garage doors right here in Clearfield, Pennsylvania, uh, you know, about a, an hour and a half from our plant, Aliquippa. Uh, the Klingermans uh, have been cranking out some, some gorgeous garage doors for quite a while uh, using Versatex. Uh, G&G, no work. Uh, our, our friends down there, uh, George and Mary uh, in Key Largo, uh, they live in the life. Uh, they found a good place. Hey, George is originally from New York. He was one of the first to get down to Florida, settle in in Key Largo. You know, they make Adirondack chairs out of our product down there. Uh, check them out online. It is so cool. Um, they do a bunch of stuff where they'll, like, get the college logos in the back of the Adirondack chairs. Man, very, very cool stuff. Very unique. g g Millwork. And then finally, north of the border, up outside of Toronto, uh, Bill Hunt and Company at Decor Innovations. Um, and Bill makes everything out of our product. So uh, he'll do application, install, uh, you know, so a variety of different types of uh, applications for, uh, for the builders up there in the, uh, in the Toronto Metroplex. So Decor Innovations as well, a finalist. But one winner, Fabricator of the Year, the Versatile Excellence Award goes to Klingerman Doors. I want to thank the Sloan family. Uh, Roy and his two sons, or I mean the Klingerman family, excuse me, Roy and his two sons, Sloan and Sean. Uh, Klingerman uh, has been doing, uh, like I said, doors for years. And then probably somewhere around, let's say, five, six years ago, actually seven now, my notes tell me, they discovered Versatech and uh, haven't looked back. And the work they do is impeccable. There you see their website there on the screen. Look them up online. Uh, they make some beautiful doors. Uh, this past year, they, they grew their usage of Versatech by over 50%. Uh, 
So that tells me this stuff is, is moving out the door as soon as they can make these doors. Uh, fa- fantastic stuff. So thanks again, Roy, Sloan, Sean, the Klingerman family. You're our 2021 award winner for Fabricator of the Year. Thank you very much. Next category. We honored a distributor. Now we're going to pick one distributor sales representative. So you think with over 40 locations, picking a distributor is hard. Well, each one of those 40 locations probably has two to three to four salesperson per. So we're talking well over 100, 150 that could be in this category of distributor sales personnel. And as I said, our distributors are some of the best uh, in the industry. Well, certainly makes their, their representation some of the best in the industry. But we had to pick three. So the three finalists we have for Distributor Sales Rep of the Year, Kristen Russell, uh, a former winner. I mentioned Dixie Ply uh, in Tampa as a finalist. Uh, well, guess what? <laughs> so is Kristen. She's the straw that stirs the drink down there. Um, absolutely incredible relationships up and down that Gulf Coast uh, and drive in Versatech each and every day. Also, Mike Siegel on a wholesale mill work in Reading, PA. You know, wholesale hadn't been around long with us, uh, only a couple of years, but Mike has uh, quickly figured out how to sell Versatech, and he's had an exceptional year growing Versatech in northern, uh, northern New Jersey, and we want to thank him for all his efforts. Finally, Mark Kelly, seasoned pro out of U.S. Lumber in Altoona, Pennsylvania. Those are our three finalists for Distributor Sales Rep of the Year. Got to pick one. And the Versatech Excellence winner for Distributor Sales Rep of the Year is Mark Kelly out of U.S. Lumber in Altoona, Pennsylvania. You know, if you've ever traveled with Mark, and I've had the, the pleasure of doing so, Mark is a pro. He's an absolute seasoned pro. Under the direction of Travis Risser, I'll be remiss. I'm going to give Travis his props. And obviously, Joe Campbell as a general manager there in Altoona. But Mark has tremendous relationships with his customer base. And I know he'd like to thank, you know, Paneling Sales, Leather Lumber, John H. Myers, uh, you know, three great accounts that he's helped develop and cultivate, all of which had tremendous growth in, uh, in 2000. 21 and you know mark's influence there is 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 big uh, helps that grow he pays attention to these folks he trains them he's there to answer questions uh and, and cultivate their business uh, along with mike mcgeehan our our territory sales manager out there that helps mark uh, with pull through uh, but myers paneling lesser all had unbelievable years uh, mark grew his tail sales over a million bucks he had two huge uh, uh, Versa wrap uh, opportunities that he helped develop. Uh, one through paneling sales, which was a truckload, and one through leather, which was a commercial project of over 1,500 wraps. So phenomenal, phenomenal job, Mark Kelly. And you are our Versa Excellence winner for Distributor Sales Rep of the Year. Uh, like all of our uh, all of our customers, uh, you know, Mark will get a plaque. Uh, in his honor uh, with the award that will be presented in, uh, in, in January. We'll, we'll get it to him. Uh, Mark also gets a check from the company for, uh, for a thousand bucks. Uh, don't spend it all in one place, Mark. <laughs> but with inflation, we might be hard to do it. But that's, we appreciate that. Uh, congratulations uh, on your win. All right, moving forward, uh, Builder of the year. Uh, we didn't have this category when we first started doing these and not sure why, because without the builder, we have nothing. So maybe about a half dozen years ago. Uh, so we got to add this and man, when you add this, you start looking at the folks that could, you know, would, would be a finalist. It, it's unbelievable. I mean, we have some of the best custom home builders, remodelers in the country that are loyal to Versatech and do such an exceptional job with it. Some of the craftsmanship that you see when you get out in the field uh, would blow you away. I mean, these 
These guys are the best of the best. Um, but we had to pick three finalists. Um, and, you know, all of these finalist folks are, are nominated by our regional sales managers um, and territory sales managers uh, who know them best. But uh, three finalists up there outside of, uh, uh, of Buffalo is Shedders Construction Corp uh, in, in, uh, in West Seneca, uh, New York. Uh, we also have King Post Design and Construction uh, down along the coast in Wilmington, um, Wilmington, North Carolina. And then Leeds Builders in Margate, New Jersey. These are our three finalists uh, for Builder of the Year in, uh, in 2021, uh, all of which uh, we want to we wanna thank. And there's many more builders that we could go on forever thanking uh, because the builder's not using Versatec. Guess what? We ain't selling Versatec. But these folks are very loyal and very skilled in how they apply the product. So uh, those are the three finalists. But the Builder of the Year, the Versatec Excellence Award goes to Leeds Builders, Margate, New Jersey. So congratulations to Leeds. I want to thank the brothers, Ted and Jim Leeds, uh, who own and operate that business, these guys have been cranking out some of the most majestic, beautiful homes along the Jersey Shore there, uh, Margate, surrounding areas, for over 30 years. Folks, you ever been to the Jersey Shore, kind of know what the architectural style that I'm talking about. These guys do it better than anyone. Uh, fortunately for us, uh, we were able to uh, bring 84 Lumber in Pleasantville, New Jersey on a little over four years ago. When we did, you know, the first thing is, well, we're going to switch. We're going to talk to Leeds. Uh, and, and, and we did, they did. And, uh, you know, Ted and Jim and, uh, and Mark Mashteen, who's the manager down there, they saw the value. They saw the, the quality of Versatec. And, man, they embraced it wholeheartedly. And uh, last year... You know, they, they, they bought over a quarter million dollars for their homes. That tells you how big these homes are, folks, and what they do. What I love now is they're using Canvas on almost every home. That's our, you know, our laminate product, our T&G, WP4, and Stealth Feedboard. Uh, so it, it is uh, great to see that being used. They use Versatec profiles integrated throughout the entire home. So Leeds, thank you very much. I want to thank the entire team at Leeds. I want to thank the guys at 84 Lumber uh, who service them as well. Um, they are our 2021 Versa Excellence winner for Builder Leeds Homes. Now, moving on to dealing. And again, this is uh, if we don't have stocking dealers, we don't have anything. And I'll tell you this: you know, when you when you put a product in the market, you know, you gotta you gotta do a few things. Um, you gotta create a better product. And, man, I know uh, John Pace, Josh Pace, our operations team, uh, they have created a better product. Uh, you got to tell people about it. Well, through our entire sales organization, which numbers in the 40s, and Tracy Nizeski and her marketing team, which is uh, as good as it gets in the industry, we sure tell people about it. And um, market, promote, advertise, Versatech. I think we've built a tremendous brand. But the third thing you got to do is make it easy to buy. And boy, I got to tell you this. This past year, I know a lot of you have struggled because things aren't easy to buy. And our lead times have been two weeks or better through this entire pandemic. So props to the ops team for that. But the key is stocking dealers. And we have loyal and great stocking dealers that has product on the ground. Distribution backs them up, but that dealer, that stocking dealer, and we probably now have well over 800 stocking dealers in the United States and Canada, and this is really the, the, the linchpin to everything because if the builder doesn't trust the dealer and the dealer doesn't have it on the ground, it all falls apart. Well, we have an unbelievable group of stocking dealers. So each year we ask, all of the regionals and territory sales managers, I want to. I want your stocking dealer of the year by region. And 
They all turn them in. It's very difficult for them to pick just one. So we then take the regionals, and then we pick a national winner out of it. So let's first honor the regional dealers. Now, here is the regions, and here are your – and I'll give you your winners. Um, and, again, we have, let's see, three, six, nine regions, which is fantastic. And I'll show you here where the regions are. But each region uh, will have a regional top dealer, and that top dealer will get the award for the region. And we're also going to come in in January – and do a catered lunch, uh, you know, for the entire organization. So look forward to that. That'll be set up by your, your regional and territory sales manager. So we have the Northeast, which is all of New England states, Long Island and eastern New York. We have western New York, east Canada. That is what you would believe, western New York. And then Ontario and Quebec. The Mideast, which is western Pennsylvania, eastern Ohio and West Virginia. We have the East, which is New Jersey and the Philadelphia metro. We have Mid-Atlantic, which is Virginia, Delaware, and D.C. The Southeast, which is North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Georgia, Northern Alabama. The Gulf States, Florida, Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, Southern Alabama. And the West, which is actually everything west of the Mississippi, uh, including Illinois. And then the Midwest, upper Midwest there, Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, Western Ohio. So those are our regions. So uh, when you win the award there for a region, you kind of know who you're up against. These regions are big, dealers in each. So, uh, you know, it was very hard to pick just one. So, again, we don't want to slight anybody because we got a ton of dealers that had unbelievably good years, uh, but we had to pick just one for each. Uh, and uh, we'll start with our top stocking dealer uh, in the Northeast, uh, and that is Williams Lumber. Uh, and boy, these guys are a long-term, uh, a long-time dealer of ours uh, in Rhinebeck, New York. Thirty percent growth this past year. Started stocking it in 2008. We want to thank you to the Williams family up there, Sandy Kelly uh, Senior uh, and Kim uh, Senior, uh, do such a great job. Uh, and also Jim Catticut, who's been around forever, helped us get started up there. So Williams Lumber. Rhinebeck, New York, thank you to the Williams family. You are our Northeast Regional Dealer of the Year. Moving to our Western Canada, or our Eastern Canada, I should say, Western New York dealer, top stocking dealer in that market. The award goes to Chatham Metal Sales in Chatham, Ontario. And special thanks there to Matt McKay and his group, uh, they had a phenomenal year. Uh, they've been stocking the product now for, for five years. They more than doubled their business. Uh, they offer full exterior packages, and we are the main trim option up there. Uh, they, they work with Decor a lot on custom stuff. So thank you to the owner, Matt McKay. We greatly appreciate CKMS Chatham Metal Sales in Chatham, Ontario. To the Mideast. And this is uh, Pennsylvania, Western Pennsylvania, and uh, Northeast Ohio. We're going to honor this year paneling sales for another spectacular year in Gordonville, Pennsylvania. Uh, we want to thank Mel and Eli uh, Petersham uh, for all their support out there at paneling sales. Uh, their year was unbelievable. Is 100% growth unbelievable? You bet it is. And that's what they did, doubling their business. They've been a stocking dealer since 2011. Uh, this is the second time they've won the Regional Dealer of the Year. Uh, Mel and Eli, thank you, thank you, thank you. Absolutely spectacular work there. Uh, Mike McGeehan uh, has a great relationship with these folks, uh, helps drive some sales, but incredible. Doubling their business. You got you to gotta give it to them. Paneling sales, thank you so much. Congratulations, Mel and Eli, on top honors for the Mideast. To the East. And we could have picked uh, any number of dealers in the East because they all had such exceptional years. Um, Mark Edmondson's territory over there is booming, uh, and the dealers are growing like wildfire. Uh, and But we picked one, and we probably could have picked a couple different 84 lumber locations. But the one we picked 
was 84 Lumber in Cape May. Uh, branch manager Billy Chapman, we want to thank him uh, and his team, over 58% growth. Uh, and these guys are the folks that service some of the top builders down there along the Jersey Shore uh, and super high-end stuff. So the demands, the service level have got to be there. 84 Cape May delivers it constantly. He's got an unbelievable team down there. Uh, you know, sales stud, bar none, Mike Weber, uh, the rest of the team, Jimmy, Bill, Chuck, Gary, um, all of those guys. We want to thank them all. Special thanks to Dave Haley, the area manager for 84. There's nobody that believes in burst attack more than Dave Haley. Uh, and he preaches it to all of his yards and helped us, uh, you know, get Kate May on board a couple of years back. Also want to thank Joe Heaster, uh, who's the sales manager for the area for 84, and, uh, and Vice President John Head, all of which have been instrumental in, in helping us in that marketplace. So thank you very much. Moving on to the Mid-Atlantic, these guys could win this award every year. Uh, they are just such a behemoth. T.W. Perry, Gaithersburg, Maryland. If you know anything about the D.C., Baltimore area, uh, one lumber yard really dominates T.W. Perry. Uh, year after year, they just continue to grow, um, and this year was no exception. So they are our Mid-Atlantic Regional Dealer of the Year. Over 40% growth. Unbelievable. For a dealer that's been around since 2009 with us, man, you can't, you just can't do any better. Uh, thank you to Gary Bowman, runs the show down there. As I said now, they're, they're part of the BFS uh, organization. Uh, uh, great, to, great for them. Uh, I can't wait to see the growth going forward. I want to thank Tim Giles uh, and uh, really want to thank the purchasing team that is the backbone down there making it happen with Versatech, Chris Purdy and Mark Davis. Phenomenal. But I'd be remiss if I didn't thank them on their way out the door. I can't believe it. Mike Moore, Doug Kelly, I'm told they're retiring. I think these guys are too young to retire, but I wish them well. Uh, they have put in their dues, no doubt about it. So Mike and Doug, uh, congrats to you, and, and good luck on the next chapters of your lives. Uh, and thanks, T.W. Perry, uh, Gary Bowman, and team for another exceptional year. Moving to the southeast, top stocking dealer down there, Specialty Wood, Wilmington, North Carolina, uh, actually in a little borough of Wilmington called Castle Hain. I want to thank uh, the Sneedens, Norm and Norm Jr. and Carter Sneeden. Another exceptional year for Specialty Wood, and they picked up top honors as our southeast top stocking dealer. Moving to the Gulf States, we want to thank Island Lumber and Hardware in Holmes Beach. And I'll tell you, the Southeast, one of our fastest growing, or I mean the Gulf States is one of our fastest growing region. So to win the honors down there, man, you got to be doing something because all those dealers are humming along. And um, we want to thank Becky Kern Garvis, who owns that place, Island Lumber and Millwork at Holmes Beach, Florida, man. I'll tell you what, it's a nice place to visit. Because <laughs> it's right there near the water uh, on the Gulf Shore, a uh, gorgeous place. And they service some of this super high-end real estate in and around them. Um, their business, you know, since 2019, if I could do the math right, has grown about six-fold uh, as they continue to grow. Um, you know, they, they really only became a complete all-in stocking dealer uh, a little over a year ago. And um, their business uh, grew about, looks like about 4X. So I think uh, the switch from the pre previous supplier has, has helped uh, them and us. And congratulations. Island Lumber and Hardware, Holmes Beach, Florida, Gulf States Regional Dealer of the Year. Uh, thank you, Becky, and team down there. Moving to the West, we got two more regions to knock out. The West, and again, the West is, I mean, we, we really don't have Lewis and Clark. So the West, the West is a bit untamed for us. Uh, but you get out past uh, Illinois, 
And across the Mississippi, there's a lot of dealers out there. Uh, we had to pick just one. We went with High Brothers Lumber in Camden, Camdenton, Missouri. Um, High Brothers uh, had an exceptional year with us and won the award for the West. We want to thank uh, Craig uh, Lynx, Lynx, if I say it wrong, I'm sorry, Lynx Eiler, uh, Craig, um, and also Don Smith, Troy Mathis, Terry, Bo- Terry Bowden uh, for their uh, efforts this year at High Brothers. Um, so thank you very much. Um, an exceptional year uh, for that dealer as they uh, were really all new business. Uh, they came on with gangbusters. Early uh, in 2021, uh, we want to thank Don Smith, manager. He's the one that said, hey, uh, let's bring this thing in. And, man, it took off like wildfire. Uh, Troy and Terry pushing it, uh, as well as Craig. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. And we're only just begun there uh, at High Brothers, so we're looking forward to continuing to grow. But uh, congrats on your award. Like I said, plaque and, um, and lunch forthcoming. Uh, for all these winners, including the regional dealers. So make sure that uh, that Tanner, Chris Hedlund get in there, and you guys have a big time. All right, final region we want to look at is the Midwest. Top stocking dealers, Michigan, Indiana, Kentucky, Western Ohio. And uh, the honor there goes to D. Baker and Son Lumber, Grand Haven, Michigan. Uh, D. Baker, I'm going to tell you this about D. Baker. Have you ever been in there? You could eat off the floor. It might be the cleanest, nicest uh, lumber yard that I've ever been in. Uh, they do an unbelievable job there. Uh, we want to thank Nada, Nada Edson, who's the, uh, the owner president up there. Uh, Nada runs a terrific, terrific uh, lumber yard. Um, Annie Baker as well. Lucas McFadden. Thank you to all of them. Um, they've been a dealer now for over eight years. This lumber yard, folks, and I tell you, it just makes my heart warm because, you know, any of us that have been around for a while, particularly in the early 2000s and the mid 2000s, and we saw the, the downturn uh, and what it did taking out generational lumber yards. This one's been around since 1871 as an independent. So there ain't many of them left. Deep Baker and Son, they stand there proud. Grand Haven, Michigan. Thank you, Nada. Phenomenal year as they continue to grow their business with Versatech up 190% 2021. They are the regional dealer winner for the Midwest. All right, before I now announce the winner for the National Dealer of the Year, I always want to take a minute to thank the big three, as I call them, uh, retail independents. Um, these guys are, are behemoths in their marketplace. I already thank T.W. Perry. Uh, because they won the regional, but you know, let's let's take a second. National Lumber up in New England, uh, you know, uh, Manny Pina runs it up there. Mark Osborne on the offside, and the and the and the and the, and the Cass family, uh, Stephen and Margie, uh, they're unbelievable. Uh, you can't say enough uh, of what they do at National. The sales team up there, phenomenal, and they are a dominant player for us uh, up in that Boston marketplace. And then Riverhead. Um, you know, I used to say dominate the Hamptons of Long Island. Well, guess what? They still do. But uh, Edgar, Greg Goodale, uh, they continue to expand uh, with purchases of, of other lumber yards up into the, up into the lower New England uh, marketplaces. Um, just recently bought Mazone Lumber. So congratulations to them. Um, you know, there's nobody, you know, we could thank it off uh, other than these folks. Uh, Riverhead, you know, shout out to Big Sexy. Steve Kramer, uh, and, uh, and what he does, probably the best buyer in the industry. How he manages it, I'll never know, because the growth has been unbelievable. And Edgar and Steve just keep dropping new lumber yards in his lap, and, and he's keeping up. So thanks to the big three, another exceptional year, um, you know, in terms of growth. So thank you very much. All right, so there's our regional winners. Uh, once again, Williams, Chatham, Paneling. 84 Cape May, T.W. Perry, Specialty Wood, Island Lumber and Hardware, High Brothers, and D. Baker. So those nine will all win, you know, plaque for the region. They'll all get a celebration 
uh, with uh, with a nice luncheon for their organization. Um, great job by all of them. Now, from that group, I was you know we were hard pressed to try to pick one as the national winner, but we had to do it. And frankly, it's an honor to do it. And uh, I want to announce the Versatex Excellence winner for Dealer of the Year for 2021 goes to Special Wood, right outside of Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, you might have noticed maybe I short-shifted them on the region win. Well, this is why, because I'm going to take time right here to thank the Sneedon family. Phenomenal job, Norm Norm Jr., Carter, uh, absolutely spectacular. Uh, who says you can't sell PVC trim in the southeast? I know it's not as mature a category as it is in the mid-Atlantic and up into New England, but boy, Norm and his group, they embraced it. And they've been a stocking dealer now since 2013. They buy from Snavely Forest Products out of, uh, out of Greensboro, North Carolina, that does an unbelievable job servicing them. This group grew 56% this year. And I'm talking on a big number. So um, they are exceptional. Uh, we've all had the pleasure, including our president, John Pace, traveling down there and, uh, and literally working with these guys. And when you get down there, you see how connected they are, uh, how, how deep they are uh, connected with their customer base and um, how well uh, they are engaged, how they listen, they react, they understand the market, and they're salespeople. You know, they, it, these are traditional wood markets, folks. So when you introduce something like PVC trim that is a premium product, uh, you, you got to do some things there. They run a mill shop that is spectacular. Uh, they do some beautiful things with Versatech, present that to their builders as a value add, and uh, that's why they've grown this business. So I'm very proud of this because this is our first winner as a national uh, the award, the national dealer, you know, really south of the, you know, down in, uh, in the southeast. So fantastic job, uh, especially Wood, Sneedon family, thank you again. 2021 winner, National Dealer of the Year, you get the Versat Excellence Award. Congratulations. Well, folks, that is a wrap. I greatly appreciate you sitting here uh, and, and watching this for this past hour. Everybody at Versatech, uh, inside the plant, outside the plant, want to take a minute to thank all of our customers. Uh, 2021, challenging year for everybody. The inflation has been mind-numbing. Um, we want to thank you for supporting the, the many price increases we had to pass along uh, due to rapidly rising raw materials and continuing to position our product for success in the marketplace and grow our business as you grow yours. Uh, I can't thank you enough uh, for the loyal support we get from our customer base. I want to personally thank many of the customers one more time that reached out to me when I was in the hospital. It went a long way. I greatly appreciate your prayers and support once again. Um, so I'm speaking on behalf of the entire organization at Versatech, you know, well over, you know, 150 strong. Uh, you know, we want to thank each and every one of you once again for a great year in 2021. We want to wish you a very Merry Christmas, a very happy, healthy, prosperous new year. And we look forward to more growth more success, more fun uh, in 2022. So uh, we bid you adieu. Thank you again. And one more time, congratulations to all the 2021 Versus Excellence Award winners. This is Rick Capers on behalf of the entire team at Versatech, and we'll see you next year.